In this exercise, we're going to take a look at painting Minecraft textures using Blender's Texture Paint. So here's how you can paint a leaf or leaves texture. First, we want to use a cube. We want to go into Material Properties. And we can use the default material. So we're just going to edit this. Let's just call this leaves. That's the preview. So we can leave all the other settings as is for the moment. We want to go into Shading Workspace because we need to set up the material first. So there's our cube. What we're going to do is drop in Add Texture Image Texture. So we're going to drop in an Image Texture node. Drop that in. We're going to create, so click on New, we're going to create a new material. Let's call this leaves, new texture, and this will be 16 by 16 pixels. I want to use generate type and we can set that to UV grid or color grid, doesn't matter. Click OK and then link that color output to base color input. It'll do that for the moment. And whilst we're here, we want to change the interpolation, which is a linear at the moment. So click on the list and select closest. We can do this in material properties as well, but whilst we're here, we'll do it whilst we're here. So closest, and that will pixelate our image so that we are looking at our image relative to how it would appear in Minecraft. So once we've done that, that's our basics. We want to go into UV editing, make sure our cube is set up. So let's just go into material preview. So we have to middle mouse click, hold, drag, material preview. So there's our material. So that's the default UV map. We just want to replace this and reset the UVs for our cube. So make sure everything is selected. Select all and then from the UV menu in the 3D view, we want UV reset. And this will reset all the UVs for each face on a one to one basis with our available texture. So UVs reset. And there they are all mapped one to one. So now that we've got that done, so we need to set up our cube material, make sure the material has our base image, which is what we're going to paint onto. And then we set the UV mapping. And this is also that we can see, we can preview the texture as we paint it. So now that we've got all that set up, we switch into texture paint workspace. This will give us the texture paint tools. So middle mouse scroll, zoom in, and then we're going to use some of the tools to paint our texture. So first thing we want to do is reduce the radius of our brush. It's just one pixel. So click type one, and then we're going to set the color. So click drag, click drag, and we can see as we change it's changing the color intensity as we change the values. And then all we do, paint over our texture. So that's click, hold, drag the mouse over the image and it'll paint the color to the image. Change the color again. Some different tones in there. So it's not all exactly the same. And obviously we can see how that looks on our cube. Just a little bit of painting. Let's darken that down. Get a couple of really dark colors. And 
And then for the transparent parts of our leaves or leaves, we want to go into the mode menu. Currently it's mix. We want erase alpha. Click on that. And then that will allow us to erase parts of the texture. But to see this, what we want to do is switch back to shading workspace. Now that we have an alpha, what we can do is grab the alpha output channel and link that to the alpha input channel of BSDF. And then in material properties, scroll down to the bottom, set the blend mode, currently is opaque, we want that to be clip, alpha clip. And there is the hole in our texture. So back to texture painting, and let's paint out these holes. And this is how we can use Blender to paint Minecraft textures. And we can create our leaves. Like so. And then once we've got something we are happy with, all we need to do is go into the image menu, image, save as, And then we'll browse to our folder where we want to save our file. Call this leaves painted. PNG. Disable compression so that we're dealing with as much raw data as we can because we're using PNG. Or we could use a lossless format that supports alpha masks. So that if we wanted to do some work in an image editor, we could do that because it would include the alpha. So target raw, sRGB, everything else is okay. And then just save. And that is, let's change the specular, roughness. And that is texture paint paint Minecraft textures, or a leaf or leaves in this case.